Alright, what's up everybody? This is Scott here again with my next video to help you learn how to trade, invest, and master your finances so you can apply that knowledge in the real world and multiply your money. And for this video here, I'll be giving you a very in-depth overview of the Tiblio platform, which I think is an excellent trading system to help you take your options trading to the next level. And so in particular for this video, I will first talk about what Tiblio is and some of the main features. And then after that, I'll walk you through a very in-depth example of how to use Tiblio to find and make very high quality trades. So first off here, what is Tiblio? Well, basically it's a very comprehensive trading system that allows you to do the following things. As I mentioned, you can use Tiblio to find very high quality trades, mostly for options, but also for stock and cryptocurrency as well. And the trades that Tiblio will recommend to you are based on various market screening algorithms that scan the market in real time looking for great opportunities. You can also use Tiblio to log your trades with very detailed metrics so you can track your performance with ease. You can also configure alerts to notify you when to take profits or cut losses on the trades that you're making. Additionally, you can use Tiblio to scan through the most relevant news and stay informed on day-to-day -day market events. And you can also access an online trading community through Tiblio to exchange ideas and discuss strategies with other traders. And one thing to note, Tiblio does require a very low cost membership fee that is well worth the value in my opinion. And I'll talk more about the pricing for Tiblio here in a second. And so with that being said, hopefully that gave you a good overview of what Tiblio is. And so now at this point, we're going to jump on over to my computer here, and I'll walk you through a very detailed example of how to use Tiblio to find and make very high quality trades. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'm showing you here is the homepage for the Tiblio website. So this is a web application. And to navigate to this site, you simply have to go to tiblio.com. And I do have a link to this website also in the description of this video. Now briefly here, there are two important things I want to point out on this page. Number one, if we come down and focus on this text right here. So if you do want to try Tiblio, you can do so for seven days and just pay only $1. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a paid platform, which does make sense given how much value they are providing for you here. But again, if you want to try Tiblio, you can do so for seven days. And then after that point, if we now go take a look at the pricing of this uh, application here, so once your trial is over, you have two options. You can either pay month to month, which is about 35 bucks per month, or perhaps if you absolutely love the Tiblio platform during your seven day trial, then you might wanna consider signing up for a full year upfront. And the price you'll pay for that is about 350 bucks, but you also get two months free as well. Okay, so now with that being said, let's come back up to the top here and I'll go ahead and log in. All right, so once you have your account set up with Tiblio and you are logged in, this is the main page that you will see. So I'll give you a brief overview here first. And in the middle, these are some of the recent trades I've been logging in Tiblio because like I said, Tiblio is great for actually logging and tracking your trades. And then up top, you'll see some very basic uh, metrics about the trades you have been logging. So for example, you can see over here my winning percentage, also my expected profit on a per trade basis, and also my total P&L so far, all based on those logged trades. And then on the left hand side here in this menu bar, this is where all the other great features of Tiblio can be found. So for example, up top, these are all the different market screeners. And each screener here is based on a computer algorithm that is scanning the markets in real time, trying to find great opportunities based on whichever category that you're looking at. So for example, if you are a huge seller of covered calls, we can go into that one here. And then as you can see in the middle, you get a very comprehensive list of high premium out of the money call options. So of course, in regards to cover calls or just selling options in general, these are the kinds of contracts you wanna be looking for. Contracts that are decently out of the money and therefore give you a high chance of success, but still also give you a nice credit. So therefore your profits can be sufficiently large as well. And take note on the left-hand side under the symbol column, you can see a variety of different call options for different kinds of stocks, AMC for example, UVXY, Ruby, so on and so forth. But also if there is a particular stock that you're looking for, you can come over here to the search box and simply type it in. And then coming back over here, you also have your trade journal. So this is where you can actually log all your trades. And basically it brings you back to the homepage that I showed you a few seconds ago. Also we have trade alerts. And I'll talk a lot more about these here in a moment once I go through a live example of me making a trade using this platform. We also have an education button here. And this page here contains a series of very comprehensive videos, either on how to use the Tiblio platform or on how to use certain kinds of strategies. Like you can see here, for example, this video gives you an introduction to call credit spreads. And this one here also, call credit spreads, tips and tricks, so on and so forth. So very useful information there. And then one thing I forgot to mention actually under the market screeners tab, let's expand that again. Down at the very bottom, we have the latest market news. 
And here you can see a collection of some of the most relevant and recent articles, for example, on Disney. And you can see the title of the article right here, and also the first few sentences of the articles right below that. And if you want to read more, you can click this button and, of course, read more. So this page right here will be very useful in keeping you informed on all the latest market events and whatnot. And then alongside the various market screeners, you can also use this to find some potentially great trading opportunities as well. And then finally, at the bottom of this menu bar on the left-hand side here, there is some merchandise you can purchase if you want. You can invite friends to the platform and also join the Discord. So this is actually the online community that you can join through Tiblio. And that's, of course, where you can converse with other traders, exchange ideas, discuss strategy, all that kind of good stuff. And so now to give you a very in-depth example of how to actually use the Tiblio platform and take advantage of all the different features, let's now come back up to the top here. So for me personally, I'm definitely a huge fan of selling naked put options. So we'll go ahead and click on this button right here. And as you can see, you get a list here of very liquid, far out of the money put options paying a very high premium. So for instance, let's take a look at this one right here. This is AAL or American Airlines. And there actually are a few different recommended options for American Airlines here. There are four in total. Looks like they're just different based on the actual expiration date of the put option contracts. But for this row right here, this one's recommending the May 6th expiration cycle in 2022 and selling the 16 and a half strike put option. And right now the current price for American Airlines stock is about $17.63. So basically we're talking about selling a put option with a strike a full dollar below the current stock price. And then in this column here, you can actually see the probability of making a profit on this trade or also known as the pop. So if I were to sell this option right now, I would have about a 69% chance of turning a profit on the trade. And that's definitely very good. Typically, I target around a 70% chance of profit anyway. So this is definitely in line with my kind of trading. And then next to that, you can also see the estimated amount of credit that you would receive for selling this put option. So it's about 62 cents on a per share basis, of course. So in total, that's about 62 bucks. Which considering the stock price of American Airlines being only about 17 bucks, that's actually a very, very nice credit. And then also you can see your max return, your max return percentage on the trade, and your potential max loss as well. Which in this case assumes if American Airlines goes to zero, which I think is pretty unlikely. So I definitely like the setup on this trade here. And once you find a potential trade you want to make, the next step is to go to your trading platform and actually make that trade. So now we'll come over here and take a look at my Thinkorswim platform. And then up top we'll go to AAL. And awesome, this is actually a great day to be selling puts anyway because if I zoom in a bit here, American Airlines is down pretty hard. Looks like by about 3% at the moment. And typically I enjoy selling put options on big down days. And also if we come down here and take a look at the implied volatility for American Airlines, right now the IV is at 62.62%. And this definitely is very high for any individual stock and is still pretty high for American Airlines in particular. So again, that's why the Tiblio platform is definitely recommending selling options on the stock right now because the high implied volatility here means that the option prices for American Airlines are still very expensive. So now I'll come over to the trade tab and take a look at the option chain for American Airlines. And for the trade I was looking at in the Tiblio platform, it was recommending to go into the May 6th expiration cycle, which right now has 31 days to expiration. And this is basically right where I like to be when placing a brand new trade. And then specifically, it was recommending to sell the 16 and a half strike put option here. Now, typically weekly expiration cycles, as you can see here, are not super liquid or basically they don't have too much trading activity. But it seems the reason why Tiblio was recommending this particular put option is because the volume for this contract, as well as the open interest, is still very, very high compared to the rest here. So therefore, it should be pretty easy to get filled on this trade. So now we'll go ahead and click on the bid price for this put option. And that brings up the sell order down below. Just going to sell one contract, 16 and a half strike put option. And for my price, I'll try and go right in between the bid and the ask, which let's take a look. Bid price is 58 cents. Asking price is 65 cents. So going right in between is about, call it 61. And then lastly, go to confirm and send and take a look at the buying power effect on this trade. Only about 233 bucks. That's very nice. So also this means if this trade does work out, it would have a very nice return on capital. And then lastly, we'll go to send. And there we go, just got filled at 60. Had to come down by one more penny there. Awesome, so now at this point, I can come back to Tiblio and just go to the right-hand side here and click log it. And now this brings me to the page where I can actually log that trade and track it going forward. And the cool thing is that most of the criteria here is already filled out for you. So as you can see, the expiration is May 6th, 2022. American Airlines sold a put option in this case. 16 and a half strike, sold one contract, and my fill price was exactly 60 cents. 
So I type in 0.6. And then also you can add the commissions paid, which for thinkorswim is 65 cents per contract. And then lastly, I just hit save. And there we go. It brings you back to your homepage here and you can see the new trade right there at the top. And then you can see your P&L on the trade being reflected in real time. So it looks like so far I'm already up by eight bucks on the trade. Very nice. And then next up here, let's talk about the alerts that come with the Tiblio platform. So by default, whenever you log a trade, that will automatically create some alerts for you. So in particular, let's now come over to the left-hand side once again and click on trade alerts. And what you are seeing here are some of the previous alerts that were set for some of my past trades. And like I was saying, as you can see right here, alerts are set automatically when you log a trade. And in particular, by default, profit alerts are triggered at 50% profit. So in this case, I sold that put option on American Airlines for a credit of 60 bucks. So if the price of that put option then falls down to 30, half price, then I will get an alert with the Tiblio platform here to take my profits. And then conversely, we also have loss alerts being set up automatically as well. And loss alerts are triggered by default at 100% loss. Which means again, if I sold that put option for a credit of 60 bucks, then if the price of that put option increases by 100% or to a value of 120 bucks, then at that point, I'll get an alert from Tiblio to cut my losses. And you can also configure these alerts as well if you go over to the right-hand side and click account and then go to settings. And once you scroll down a little bit, you can see the alert trigger settings. And this here is where you can configure all the different kinds of alerts in Tiblio. And you can also choose which kinds of alerts are even active or not. So in my case, I only trade options. So I don't really care to have any stock alerts being active. So that's why I leave this unchecked right now. Same thing with crypto positions. I don't care about alerts on that. So I leave this unchecked. But again, for options, short options, long options, etc., I have all these alerts checked or set to be active. And so in particular for this one here, alerts on short option positions, like I was saying, by default, the short option profit trigger is at 50%, but I can change this to be whatever I want. If I want to take my profits a bit sooner, I can change this to 25. Or perhaps if I want to be in a trade for a bit longer and squeeze out more profit, I can perhaps change that to 75%. And then same thing with the short option loss trigger. By default, it's set to 100%. But if I'm okay taking on more risk, I can change this to 200%, right? It's totally up to you. And so with that being said, I hope that gave you a great overview of the Tiblio platform and a good example of how to use it. And I would definitely highly recommend you sign up for a seven day trial for only a single dollar. And that should give you plenty of time to use all the different features of Tiblio and to make that decision of whether or not you want to continue a real membership going forward after that point. And so again, if you do want to start your trial right now, I do have a link to Tiblio in the description of this video. Check it out and sign up. And finally, if you enjoyed this video here, then please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I drop new videos every single week, and you don't want to miss out. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.